Welcome to another episode of Los Chingones Podcast with your host, Ray Gonzalez. And today we got a special person in the building uh, coming straight from Australia. It was unexpected. We've been talking about this and we're uh, finally making it happen. Um, so I appreciate you coming down. Please introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm Nathan, a.k.a. Slamball Guy. So, um, yeah, I was stoked to be able to come back. I was here in January and it was something we talked about then. So it was um, good to be able to make it back and, and make this happen. So. No, yeah, for no, yeah, for sure, for sure. So, um, you know, it's crazy how we how we met up. You know what I'm saying? Like, I I saw your slap board um, through Marcus Philly because I follow him and yeah. I see he, him using uh, the slap board. And I was like, man, he's always posting about this. I need I need to see what this thing is. And and I looked it up and I found it. I ordered it and started using it. And ever since I started using it, man, it was just I feel like it started defining my quads a lot better. And that's the main thing that, it, that, that I enjoy for. But, uh, yeah, I started using it. And, I mean, I started posting about it. And I started seeing people kind of being in, interested in it as well. And then that's kind of how we started talking. You know, we kind of started connecting from there. And then you told me you were coming down here at some point. And, I mean, we made it happen. We, made, we met up. And, and, and the rest is history. That's why we're here now. But tell us a little bit about the slant board and, and, and how that all kind of came to what it is now like what got the slant board going how did you even create that like what gave you the idea yeah so it's a, it's a little bit of a crazy idea um i went to a fitness camp crazy is good man <laughs> crazy is good <laughs> crazy is always good no i went to a fitness camp and um there was only there was only five people there and they're all um back squatting double body weight and, and i can't i couldn't squat um because of the limited mobility in my um ankle so um yeah they said let's throw a piece of timber underneath your feet just on, we're just on a farm. <laughs> nice I'll beer. Let, I'll let them know we got the beer. Yeah. Um, yeah, we're just on a farm and threw some timber underneath my feet and, and then another piece. And I was just sitting there and I said, I could probably, could probably build something for us here. And um, I remember one of the guys said, like, if you, if you do, and it's good, there'll be plenty of people out there. There'll be a huge amount of people that will like it. And you said you said you got the timber because that you had issues squatting with? Is that, was it, is that what it was? Yeah, I saw I hurt my left ankle when I was, when I was younger playing rugby league. Um, back home and yeah like I've never been able to really squat um just because of that limited ankle mobility so yeah. um I've seen in the gym I've seen people putting plates there and, and stuff like that but I thought you yeah, know why not I could probably go back to work and, and build something at that stage I was still working so I went back to work and we just made four or five for the guys that were there and once we made them I gave them to them and we made a few little changes and you know kind of the rest is history up until January last year we were still making them on the driveway um, now we've now we've got a couple of warehouses and eight or nine staff and and, and we send them all over the world. So um, yeah, that's probably the short short story. Yeah, yeah. So what was the reason behind it being a slant board? Obviously, like you saw, there was plates, but what made it be the slant board and the measurements that you use for it? Like what made it be that? Yeah, look, I, I, is it like there's science behind that, or is it just what felt right when you used it? <laughs> It's probably a mixture of both. There was, you know, there's science kind of behind it, and it's been brought more to light with um, Ben Nizo Toe guy. Yeah. Um, but the actual specific dimensions and, and stuff, I just, I kind of wanted to make something that people could vary their stance. Everyone has different um, stances, but you're not going to build something for absolutely everyone. But I just thought if we could capture the most amount of people we could, that's that's what we could do. Um, and then the grip, you know, nothing else out there had kind of grip that we we're using. It was always just a, a strip here or a strip there, so it limited where you could put your feet. So um, after, I think it probably took us about six months to zone in exactly what we wanted and what felt right, and then, yeah, we just went from there and we just kicked off. Okay, so your first slant board was made for that reason when you, uh, you know, for the rugby uh, thing you were doing, and then how did you start producing from there? Like, were you making them, you said, from the garage right away or – yeah, like, I, I probably wasn't, like, because I was still in full-time work. Um. And then were you already, like, skilled at that? Like, because it was made, for, you were making them from wood, right? So you were already kind of, like, doing everything or? Yeah, like, I'm, I'm, I'm a carpenter by trade anyway. Okay. So that's what I was doing prior to that. But, um, yeah, like, we made them for the guys. And then because there was only five guys there, they kind of just took it back to their gyms and a couple of people seen them and they were just like, oh, what, what's that and what does it do and who made it? So they, they were reaching out to me. I didn't have social media at that time. Um, I didn't have anything, no social media. Um, and then they said, what are you going to do? Are you going to start making these? And I'm like, nah, I'll probably just make a couple for your friends and this and that. And then I started getting requests from um, the states and, and other people. And um, so I just started making them just in the garage and 
on the driveway, myself and the wife, and just pushing them out. So when did you know that you had something going, like, this is going to be big? I mean, and then when who was the first person that you were like, oh, damn, like, this person's using my thing. Like, this is real now. Like, um, Oh, look, probably Ben. Um, he's over tow guy. Uh, now, now him, I know you speak about him a lot. It, did you follow him beforehand, before, like, uh, the slam board situation, like, before you started, or you just kind of met him through when he bought it, and you were like, oh, this guy seems like yeah, he knows of, what he's doing. <laughs> I kind of followed him before that. Um, I was actually introduced to him through another person um, and followed a bit, a bit of his work there and then. Um, but, yeah, the, the day that I got a message and he reached out and said, you know, can I buy one of your boards, was, that was probably when I thought we're probably onto something here and then sent it to him and, you know, we got some unreal reviews off him and it was put on his equipment list and, like I said, the rest is probably history. Um, you know, it's opened a lot of doors for us um, but then also building on them relationships past him just introducing to certain people is um, something that I enjoy. It's probably the best part of the journey. Nice, nice. Now, talking about uh, – because we're both business people, you know, so – Obviously, like, you coming here is networking, and I think it's cool. Like, I want you to talk a little bit about the business side of it. Like, you know, you traveling, going out there. What do you feel like that's doing for your business and yourself as a brand? Like, when you go out, you know, you're, you're, you're from Australia. You're coming all the way to the States. Like, you don't have to come down here, but you're doing it because you want to continue meeting the people that are using your equipment and, you know, promote your equipment and, and just going from there. Like, what is the what is the purpose behind it? How do you manage all that? And yeah, so I think one of the most important things in business these days is, um, or what I think everyone loses touch with. I think it's so easy to get on social media and have it, and have a business and build it through social media, which is which is a good thing in one way. But in another way, I like the old um, the old way of business, and it's you, you got to put a face to the name. Um, you come out and meet these people, and, and like I said, like you know. I, if it's not, it's the everyday people that buy your board that are supporting us, that are allowing us to get around the world and, and meet certain people and be on this journey. And I think, um, you know, you know yourself, I've never I've never sent a board out and reached out and said, oh, if I send you a board, can you do a post? Or no, yeah. It's never been anything like that. So um, I think it's the old school business way that's that's well, been left behind. I think it's still so important to go out there and meet the people. Well, yeah, because, I mean, you're, you trust yourself that you have a good product. You've put it through the test. You know it's like, let me just get this. If whoever buys it is going to like this product. There's no, like, I hate this product. Like, I, ever since I got it, I probably use it once a week. You yeah. know, all my leg days, I do legs twice a week, and I use it once a week for sure. And uh, I'm telling you, that thing is just, it kills you all the time. Yeah. It's not a... Uh, it's not for the weak mind or the weak, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's something good, but it's for everybody. It's yeah. for everybody. Uh, now, talk a little bit about the, uh, you know, the reason behind it as well. Like, I know you said because your ankle mobility, but it focuses a lot on the quads when you're in that slant, you know, that position. You know, you knew that was, when you did that, that was a purpose behind it, right? Like, Yeah, look, I always knew there was a purpose behind the board, um, but I just knew that it could help so many people. Um, you know, everyone has a difference of opinion about how you should squat and how you shouldn't squat and, and what you should do. But um, the feedback we initially got was, you know, it, it feels like it's activating that muscle just as, pretty much as soon as you stand on it, that inclination. So that was the first bit of feedback we got. And then, um, you know, I just, I just knew that um, a lot of people don't have the ankle mobility. Um, and so when they squat, it's not really focusing on the right, right muscles at the same time. So I thought if I could eliminate that, ankle mobility issue at the start um you know it would help a lot of people and like i said it's you know there's there's extreme athletes and there's athletes that can get into these positions without a slant board which is fine um but it's the everyday person that yeah. i get huge amounts of joy out of helping you know that write us a message and say oh, i couldn't walk down the stairs before without knee pain or i couldn't do this before or, i couldn't squat before and now i can so they're they're all the important no, that's good, and it's funny because, like, I've been training since I was 18 years old, and I remember, obviously, like, when you first started, you know, the, the thing is don't let your knees go over your toes. When you squat, blah, 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 this is how you're supposed to squat, and then it's like, well, now it's like you're squatting with your knees way past your toes, and, like, it actually feels fine, you know what I'm saying? So it's just like it kind of contradicts what you learn in the beginning, but now it's like – it makes sense. Like, at least when I use it, like I, I, like I said, this thing is, 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 is a terrific uh, piece of equipment. Um, obviously, I use them here at my gym uh, weekly. 
And uh, yeah, man. So tell us a little bit about, um, you know, so from the guy, Ben, that was the first guy you, you know, that kind of like was like, oh man, we're up to something. Yeah. Then how did it trickle down from there? What was the, what was the next scenario? Where was the next, like, you know, is there any, you know, sports teams or anything that, that anybody else is using it that just, just, just keeps wowing you? Like, how does this continue growing like this? Yeah, like, um, I think it was just two days ago or three days ago, Joe Rogan posted um, a photo of our board that we made for him. Um, so, you, yeah, you pinch yourself with some of these people that you thought you'd never have the opportunity to meet or never have the opportunity to send your piece of equipment out to, which is um, super cool. But, like, again, I, I just said it just a minute ago, it's the, the everyday people that reach yeah. out and, and buy it. You know, there's a lot of people that reach out and say, hey, can you send us a board or can we do this? Um, and, and some of them are really big athletes, which is super cool, but... Like I said, it's um, to get a message of someone that's, you know, 65 or 70 and says they can walk down the stairs now and they couldn't before, it's, um, it's a pretty cool feeling. So that's that's kind of the driving factor behind um, where oh, we yeah. are now and where we want to go. Oh, yeah, for sure, for sure. Now, I know that you have a couple other pieces of equipment also that you do, not just a slam board. Um, where did that come from, the the other pieces of equipment? Yeah, so um, the, the step-up board that we made in, and I designed is um, – it was wholly and solely to be built in with work done on or with the slant board. Um, it's got a two-inch, four-inch and six-inch step built into it. So the whole meaning and reasoning behind that is just so it was measurable, um, measurable progression um, and, and really measurable. So you could you know pretty much nail the slant board by itself, then put it on the two-inch step, the four-inch step, six-inch step, um, and then you can add weight. So it's all yeah. measurable progression um, that you can measure yourself rather than just be Hey, it feels better now or it doesn't feel better now. So that was the whole idea behind that. Um, and again, it was kind of built around Ben's program, the work that he was doing, um, and, th- and that's it. So looking to release a new a new slant board that I've, um, that I've bought out here for you. Yeah, so let's talk about that one because obviously the one that you have is, is, is could be probably a little bit – I mean, it's still easy to take and go, but um, why – you got something new here. Appreciate the little package we got. So I don't know if we want to bring this out. Yeah, so I guess one of the biggest questions we got is well, when are we going to start making something that people can travel with? Um, so so yeah. there's obviously two pieces like this, right? Yep. All right, so you guys can see that. And this is uh, is not out yet? No, it's not out yet. Don't be mad, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> comes out next week. Yeah. But so yeah. it comes out next week for sure. So we make we, we got to make sure that this podcast is out before then <laughs> so then they know. But, uh, well, what was the design, be- design behind this? So I just really wanted to uh, – one thing I never wanted to um, take away from is um, our original board. So, you know, I could have made something a lot more smaller and compact, but again, it takes away from our original board. So, um, same angle, same size as our... Um, so it's exact same height, everything? Okay. Yeah, just in, into two pieces that we interlock into each other and, and you'd be easy to travel around and put it in your bag to go to the gym. So, um, yeah, just, just super, really important not to take away from the original one and... and um, did you start getting requests for this? Like, were people asking, or was it something you already had thought? Like, oh, I'm going to do this already. We already had um, we had plenty of people reaching out asking when we could build something that they could actually travel with, and it was a lot easier to take to the gym. So, um, it was just a matter of coming up with something that we thought would be a pretty cool design that that wasn't really out there before, um, and then it was made it easy to travel with, and and you know, still sh- super super strong. Um, oh, it's definitely strong. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Don't have any it's problems? Just, what is it made with? Oh, it's made with aluminium. Mate. Okay, solid piece right there. Yeah, so enjoy. Oh, thank you, thank you, appreciate it. Definitely is going to be put to work. Uh, probably use it tomorrow, to be honest. Yeah. Probably use it tomorrow. Um, so any other products that you're going to be coming up with, uh, anything like any other ideas or that you can talk of if you are bringing something else or something in the works? Yeah, look, there's something in the works. I, I can't go into it too much. Yeah. There's, like I said to you before, there's a, there's a few people copying us at the moment. Um, but, yeah, look. Mid August, we'll probably bring something out again, okay, okay. Um, which is super new and exciting. Um, that's not out there, so um, really, really looking forward to that. And we're going to push push a couple of new limited edition boards out just for Fourth of July. Okay, okay. For all the people nice, in, nice. over here in the US, so um, that'll be super cool to get nice. get them out. They'll pop up on Instagram in the next couple of days. Um, but yeah, probably got about three items that we're working on at the moment that will be released before the end of the year, and and then we'll just keep inventing from there. Okay, okay. Now, I know, let's talk about something. I know you said there's people that have been copying the board. You know, you're obviously the, 
I would say the originator. That's who I found first and where I saw what you were doing of the, you know, what's popularizing this item. Um, how do you deal with people copying it and selling it? How do you deal with that? Yeah, look, it's, it's difficult. Um, I was, like I was saying to you before, there's two parts to it, right? It's In one sense, I think it's a positive thing because we're, we're doing something good and, you know, people probably wouldn't want to copy us if we weren't if we weren't inventing the right stuff or it wasn't we weren't popularising a piece of equipment. So in one sense, it's a positive thing, but in, a, in another sense, it's it's hard to deal with sometimes because yeah. it's, it's your baby, right? Like, you created that um it's it's not necessarily if someone comes out with a slam board it's when they come out with something that looks identical to yours right and then people the last thing i want is people thinking they've got our board and, and it's somebody else's yeah, board, yeah. Right? we've worked hard on our reputation um and our customer service and our whole product so it just hasn't happened overnight so um yeah uh, yeah look we've, we've got patents and we've got lawyers that look after certain stuff for us anyway which is kind of good to take the stress off but yeah, to deal with it, I don't know. Like I said, I try to take it in a positive way, but sometimes the days get too... Oh, yeah, for but sure. You know what, we'll always be creating. So, you know, as long as we're creating, there's always probably going to be someone out there that will end up copying us, but we for should sure. be ahead of the game. Well, no, it's a good mindset to have, like you said. I mean, you, you, you just got to let it happen, and, and people are always going to copy you if you're doing something good. And uh, it's a good mindset to keep, you know what I'm saying, regardless, because it's going to take you... It's taking you far, it's going to keep taking you far, because you're focused on your stuff only you know what am i going to do next what can i do better so that's really good so let's talk a little bit about uh back home man like i know you say you got a you say you got a few warehouses i do i do we've got two warehouses now um and looking to expand into a third one or or you know get rid of them two and just have okay okay. are are they all in the same town or yeah all from the gold coast um still in the same town right across from each other um like i said but we should we should hopefully in the next three to four months be moving into a a nice big facility and then we can okay. have um, a gym in there for the team and um, people like yourself and, yeah. and other people come overseas to visit. Yeah, we can take be, them there. And that'd be awesome. That'd give be, them a place to work out. Oh, that'd be awesome for sure. So how did you get into that? Uh, you know, run us down through your warehouse. Like how does it, how does a warehouse production team work? How does it go? Like what, what, like the whole process, what, what's, what's going on in the, in the, in the slant board HQ? Yeah, Slamport HQ. He's um, like, you do that, you do that. All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out to the US. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let the wife. I'll let the wife run the warehouse. Right. Uh, no, nah, look, we've got some pretty decent machinery in there that cuts everything up for us. Um, okay. So everything gets cut in one warehouse, built in another one by um, some other staff, all built by hand, um, and put together by hand, and then um, yeah, it comes back over to the other warehouse, ready for packaging and and final finishes. So. Um, yeah, look, it works pretty good. It's just, it's probably just not big enough for what we need. Yeah, yeah. Um, and you said how many people you have on staff right now? Probably about eight now. Okay, okay. Which is, which is, which is pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Um, from being on the driveway 12 months ago, 14 months ago. I mean, because this just started, what, you said like 12 months ago, right? Like a year ago, a little yeah. over a year ago. Yeah, I say 12, it was January last year. I think we moved into the warehouse February 10 last year, so before so, that was just on the driveway. So you were just... Chilling, chilling at, at home one day, you started making it, and a year later, I mean, you kept it up, kept growing, and then just now you're here, you're meeting all these people, yeah. and, you know, all these people are using your slant board. I mean, do you, get, do you keep track of how many you sold so far? Is there a way you keep, you keep track of do you even Do you have a number? Do you have an idea or just ballpark number? Yeah, no, I do. <laughs> I've got an idea. Probably, I reckon, in the vicinity of 30, 35,000. Nice, of sold, nice. Which is, which is a lot. That's yeah. a lot of slant boards yeah. out there. Um, yep. But in the grand scheme of things, really, it's it's just a drop in the ocean, right? It's, right. Um, it's not it's not a huge number when you think of how many people are out there and how many people we can help. I think oh, yeah. the, the big picture is, is that, you know, they should be in every gym. Oh, yeah, for sure. Every gym. I mean, every legit gym should have that because it has a use for it. Um, so how do you feel like – what happened there? Well, how do you feel like you're going to uh, reach all those people? I know, like I say, your, your, your social media has grown – you 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 connected with many people. How are you gonna keep attacking that? Like, where are you going from here? Yeah, I think for me, it's, we've got to evolve a little bit more with some brands. You know, like uh, with some some products. We've had one product really, and it's just been because we've been so busy. We've always had these other ones in the background. But I think if we keep evolving um, with the products we've got, and just keep building the relationships, but just the personal relationships. That's that's for me is key. Um, you know. I, we don't, we don't really pay. We don't pay anyone for 
uh, shout outs or, or promoting our product. It's, it's so all, everything's organic, organically grown. It's all, all organic, um, all organically grown. We haven't done any marketing at all yet, um, so which is pretty exciting. Yeah. So we'll, we'll start, we'll start that soon. But um, yeah, I think just build these relationships. There's some key yeah. people that we need to bring on board um, yeah, yeah. to keep these relationships going. And like I said, just you know the people that have supported us, just keep reaching out to them. And I think just just treat people how I like to be treated. Oh, yeah. Um, I think that works well. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you know, you growing up, man. A little bit about it's people that you know. Obviously, they know you as a slant board guy. You know, tell us a little bit about like how how life was back back at home when you were younger. Maybe some things that you know your your upbringings. A little bit more personal. You know, maybe if you want to tell people a little bit about that, who you are on yeah. that end. Yeah. No, I'm just, obviously, I know you say you you know by trade you were a carpenter. What kind of got you there? You know how you how how your upbringing was. Yeah, just come from a pretty humble family of um, just myself and my brother and my parents. Um, travelled when I was pretty young. Travelled around the world and then got into carpentry. Did that for you know, that was pretty much my life for about twenty years. Um, what what made you get into carpentry? Is it just something that you've always enjoyed? You just like. Uh, yeah, like, like like just cutting wood and <laughs> might just say that just just, just cutting wood. No, just cut. That's it. That's all you do. Nah, no, just yeah. No, I, I just I just like the lifestyle. It was yeah. like work pretty hard Monday to Friday and then yeah. relax on the weekend. Yeah. A couple of beers with the friends and and stuff like that. So pretty much started off in that and you just get wrapped up in yeah in the same circle. So you end up doing the same thing for yeah. so many years until until this kind of come along. COVID kind of threw a little bit of a spanner in the works with construction in Australia. Yeah, um, and took the opportunity to. To, to give this go, which is pretty stressful because it's, you know, I've had a full time job for you know twenty years, twenty five yeah. years, and then to go out and start your own business. Yeah, I'm sure you as a business owner know the the challenges. Oh you yeah, get for day sure, day. for sure. So, it's always a, every day is a risk. Every day is a new day. Every day we try to build another dollar, and you could go broke tomorrow. You don't yeah. know. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So no, nah, and I guess that's that's the other frustrating thing is there's a lot of people that that hit up about your product or or speak about the pricing of your product or or stuff like that, but. You know, if, if business was easy, everyone would be doing it, right? It'd be, um, yeah, it's, it has its challenges daily. So. Well, you're always going to have people that, that are not going to be happy with the product. Or, oh, what is this? Are you charged this much for this? Is what, you know, and, and I, it's like, how do you, you can't explain the worth and your, the work that goes behind that, you know, each board, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. explain the pricing behind the product, you know, maybe that way the people that maybe could be upset of like, cause I know, I think we talked about it one time where people were like, Oh, it's, you know, this much for the board. Like let them know why the board is what it is, because there's a lot of work that goes behind it. The idea, the time it took to make the whole process that you use. Yeah, look, it's like I said before, it's like a handmade product, but what I believe is um, it was, it was the first board on the market to be that big um, that could take the weight that it takes. There's, there's other boards in the market that just don't take the weight that ours do. So it takes time and it takes material to build them like that. Um, so I think that's probably the biggest thing. Um, and then, you know, our price is included with shipping. So it's, that's what price you pay. You know, there's a lot of marketing around other people's prices and stuff like that. And you get to the end and there's a 15 or a $20 shipping charge, you know, which makes it not that much of a big difference between our yeah. board and, and their board. Yeah. Um, so they're probably the main things. But like I said... Um, I don't think anyone's complained about our board not yeah. being strong enough to score. Yeah. Well, you're think, you're a pretty big solid. boy with them no, legs. Yeah, that thing's <laughs> solid, but I've used big weight there and yeah. it doesn't move. You know, it's a solid board, definitely. Um, so what? Uh, where are you selling to the most? Is it the U.S. that you get a lot of people buying, buying the product from? or? Yeah, the U.S. The U.S. is um, our biggest market. Um, you know, hopefully, maybe by the end of the year we might be manufacturing in the States. That's something that I've let okay. out of the bag a little bit. So you're trying to get, uh, like, a warehouse set up out here? Yeah. Yeah, why not? Okay. Um, what would be your ideal location? Looking at San Diego. Okay, there you go. San Diego's nice. So you want California, huh? <laughs> you're like, yeah, this is the spot. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, yeah, I don't mind coming over here. So it's um, a good spot. But, yeah, hopefully look, hopefully we can get everything to work. And, um, yeah, by the end of the year, we're set up in San Diego and um, making our products. So then, so by you bringing a, a warehouse, you know, production team out here, that costs or cuts the cost of things in a sense? Yeah, cost. The shipping and, and all that stuff? Cost, time, uh, it saves everything, right? Um, being in the States, we should be able to, and it only takes four or five days for them to get here anyway. 
but um, I kind of think the closer we are to the States, the less we've got any chance of hold-ups and not worrying about shipping delays, not worrying about air freight, not worrying about everything. So um, it's another thing that we could work on for um, cost of the product, um, which will be good for all the customers. So like I said, hopefully we can make it all work and it's a big move for us to um, pick up and move a heap of stuff over to here. But, you know, I think um, yeah, it's something that is pretty close to my heart. Like America's 85% of our business... Yeah, um, you know. So it'll be the right move to just set something up here and, and and make the process a little bit quicker for for the customers and and obviously you you come you're coming down here. I feel like a lot more. This is your second time, third time. We're yeah, this is second time in six months. But you know, I think originally we talked about it. And we'll be probably probably over here every two to three months. Um, so nice. some of the onboarding, some of the staff. Hopefully they can make it. They might I might not be able to make it, so they can make it for me. It's it's hard with three kids to oh. <laughs> to <laughs> get out there. But um, no, nah, look, we love it here, and you know, we, we're so appreciative of all the support in the US. So, it's, would you um, would you want to would you want to move out here if you situate the, the the warehouse area? Would you be living out here for a while? <laughs> oh, I don't know. I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I probably would. I don't know if the wife will. It'll take a bit of convincing for yeah. the wife to. I mean, San Diego is nice, man. You'd be like, "Hey, <laughs> the food's great." Like, you'd be like, "I'm gonna stay here." Yeah, she's she'll probably kill me for saying it, but she's yeah. she's the um one that I've got to convince. There you go. Over, so, so we'll try we'll try to convince her to let her know. Has she, has she been to San Diego? No, nah, she hasn't. So oh, that's all it takes. Just bring her to San Diego. <laughs> she'll be all right. <laughs> Take her to San Diego, yeah. show her around, and be a done deal. Right. But nah, that's that's look that's the direction. So, if it works, I'm, I'm pretty sure okay. we'll be so, happy. So you you're down here right now for how long? Yeah, we're pretty much in the U.S. for the next month. Oh, you're gonna be here for okay. Traveling so, around. so where where are you where are you heading? What is your destination? Do you have kind of a game plan where you're going through the whole process right now? Or yeah, so we went to we landed and went to Vegas. Um, probably a bit silly straight to, to Vegas. I love people Las Vegas. <laughs> probably a little bit silly to do Vegas yeah. in the first the first stop should be done in the last stop. Yeah, you're probably fatigued the exit. Yeah. Uh, no, so we met some pretty cool people there. Um, then we come up here to San Fran. We'll do San Fran, Sacramento. Um, then we'll go back down. We'll do LA, San Diego. Fly back up to Washington, uh, Washington State. And then Portland, Oregon, um, St. Louis, New York, Tennessee, Atlanta, yeah, Miami. And you're just hopping on flights every single time, yeah. man. Yeah, and then Miami. And then we'll go back over to Texas. Arizona. It's crazy because I haven't even been to all these places. I won't. A lot of these, I have not been to Miami. I have not been. We said you're going to New York too? Yeah. I've not been to New York. Yeah. I haven't been to Texas. Yeah, Texas. Uh, I'm looking forward to yeah. Texas. We've got a couple of good people to see. Nice, in Texas. nice. What part of Texas? Um, Prospect. Okay, okay. Yeah. So is that the name of the, the city? I think so. Okay, okay. I'm not too good on my job. Okay. I, I, don't, I'm, <laughs> I just haven't heard of that town, maybe. I was like thinking Houston or Dallas or something yeah. like that, but not okay, okay. Yeah, so. No, okay. looking, so yeah, every yeah. single destination that you're going to, you have uh, people that you're meeting up with. Yeah, yeah, we've got um, some really, really good people to meet up with this time. Again, okay. it's the same people that have just been supporting our brand. Okay. Um, and yeah, I think with their exposure um, and some of the ideas that they've got behind what they want to do, I think we can, um, yeah, make it more popular and, and spread the word a lot better. Nice, so. nice. So when you guys when you guys go and connect with these people, do you guys go and do some kind of marketing with them, like like hey, we're gonna set we're going to make some content or, or is this more like based off their flow and what they, what they expect. It's just like, we're going to meet up and if they do what they do and just hang out, if they want to say something or post something that's on them. Or yeah. Mate, it's, it's always been like that. It's, um, it's never been, like you said, when we come in your gym, or it's never been, we'll come and visit and can you do this, this and this. It's, oh, yeah. it's always been, Hey man, I'm gonna come by. Have you have your free time? Yeah, some, sometimes we stop in. We've been, you know, we go all the way to some place for six, seven hours, and we and we see the people for 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. Um. So it's that's not we're not going there to talk business. Yeah. We're going there to to meet to them show because you, you, they have your product or something like that. Yeah. I mean, I think and that's cool about you, man. Like, I mean, when you reached out to me, I mean, directly, like, I mean, like I said, I've seen all these people that are you know big people on Instagram, following this stuff, or you know, you know, with your product, and you know, you reached back out, you showed love, and then. You're like, I'm going to be in town. I'm like, oh, this is cool, man. Like, this guy wants to come down. And I just like, all right. Like, I'm just, you know, just a normal guy. You know, I'm just a normal guy here just that supports the product. And that shows a lot of, uh, or it says a lot about you as, you know, as the business owner. You know, you're coming out here and taking the time to, to speak to someone that is just, you know, normal business owner that's pushing his brand as well. And it's I appreciate you coming down here and doing that, man, because it's, 
not a lot of people will do that. Not right. a lot of people. So it uh it shows it says a lot about you as a person for sure. Yeah, thanks, man. I look, I love coming. I, yeah. I, I couldn't wait to get back. Yeah, I, was, yeah, yeah. I was telling a few of the friends that um about your gym and and coming back and and visiting, but. Again, like I said, it's, it, it is super cool to have some really famous people and people that have got a huge follow and using our board. But yeah. again, it's it's not all just about oh, yeah, Instagram for sure. followers and, yeah. and who people yeah. are and what they yeah. do. It's just, I like just meeting the people and it's personal connections. It's, oh yeah, it's for pretty sure. Cool. It's a pretty cool thing to be able to do. So oh, I wouldn't, yeah. be, wouldn't be able to be possible without you guys supporting the brand. Oh so. yeah, for sure, for sure. And then it's just, like I said, like me just using that product. I mean, here in my gym and I have all my clients using it. And they, they love that thing. I mean, it's crazy. They just grab it. They use it. And it's like, man, like I could imagine how many people are using this this thing. Like if I, if I grab it, I'm using it. I got all my clients using it. Like it's, just, it's good for you. You know what I'm saying? It's like people are like, this is this part. This product is amazing. They post it on their Instagram, whatever. And um, at the end of the day, like it's just networking, man. Networking as a business um, that's the biggest thing and the biggest key point that every business owner should take is is network with people. Like the the finances, all that stuff is gonna come if your product is good and you trust on that. But I think people should focus a lot on meeting people and being good people and meeting people and and, and letting their product speak for itself. Yeah, and I, I, like I said, there's the no expectation part. If if you go somewhere and you you believe or you have an expectation about what you want to come out of there. In a certain sense, like I think, I don't know. It d- doesn't really stand well with me, you know. It's, yeah. It's, it's make the personal connection first. Make the connection, and the, yeah, the personal connection first, and then if it, if it rolls from there, it rolls from there. Yeah. Right. Um, you just so got to kind of feel the vibe and just let it, like you said, let it ride. Yeah, and like I said, I've, we won't reach out. We we won't reach out to Pokemon and say, hey, we'll send you a board if you post yeah. this for us. It's 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 not what we're about. Um, but yeah, like I'm happy happy for people to use them and. And talk about them all the time, and you know, if we if we feel like we want to send one to someone, it's just there's no obligation there. There's there's no you know impression there to say you need to do this or can you do this for us. It's just hey, here's our board. If you like it, you like it. If you do post you, yeah, it's it's beneficial for us. But yeah. if you don't, we just know that you know you're using the board and you can get the enjoyment out of it. That's enough for us. So yeah, 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 that's the coolest thing. Oh yeah, man, for sure. So slam board is gonna probably be in San Diego soon. <laughs> It's going to be HQ there. We're going to have to pull up. Yeah, mate. Yeah. Anytime, anytime we have oh, HQ yeah. there, you can come down. No, and, I, and I definitely want to, like, I, like we were talking last time, like, I've, like Australia is a spot that I would definitely like to visit. Like, obviously, myself, I like to travel a lot, too. Um, and Australia is a spot. And then you say you're located in what part? In the Gold Coast. Okay, okay. So, so definitely uh, when, I, when I situate something, I'll have to be reaching out to you to go out there and check your spot out. Be more check, than happy. Check everything out. Maybe by then you say you might have a little gym set up or something like that. We could work out. We do, mate. Well, that's that's the plan. Um, if we get if we get what we want over in Oz, we'll, we'll have a nice gym set up so yeah. um, people can come over and visit and come for a workout and enjoy the space yeah, and, yeah. and come and have a look and you know, hopefully we set up a podcast. Oh yeah, for sure. What um what is what do you see Slant Board going from here, man? Like, what what are the expectations or what is in your in your in your mind that you you want to reach this company to you know. What's the message behind it, and, and where do you want this company to, to end up at, at at the end of the day? Um, look, obviously we want the company to grow, um, and you know we're worldwide already, which is which is good. But I think if we can create some more products, um, invent some some different kind of stuff that no one's doing at the moment, um, and biggest thing for me, as long as we're producing stuff that's helping people, that's all I'm happy with. So if we if we're selling a product and we're getting the word out there, obviously. Everyone's in business to make money, right? If oh, yeah. someone tells you different, then no, they're, they're, they're telling yeah, the stories, yeah, right? I mean, yeah, they, might, they, might, they might enjoy what they do, but they still want their money. That, you know? that, that's right. But yeah, nobody, don't lie to us. You, you got, everybody wants to get paid at the end of the day. <laughs> but if, if, yeah, look, as in my eyes, as long as um, we're helping people, mate, we're, and we're always getting better, and we're helping people feel better about themselves and get, and get better, then that's, that's the thing that's close to my heart. So that's probably where we'll be, hopefully, you know, like I said, based in the U.S., Based out of the US and um, yeah, global domination. And, that, and I can see that happening big because, like I said, what you're doing is, is great and how you're going out and meeting all these people. Now, how do you create new products? Like, where's where do you go? Is it, do you have, like, you have a team that thinks about this. Do you sit on like, do you isolate yourself in a room and just focus? Like, what do you do to be like, what is the product I need? Like, how do you determine? Where do I create something? Because that could be very difficult, like to sit there and like 
then really think about like what's the next product what's the next product i mean you could go years and years especially if you're busy already you're busy you got kids you got this you got them but like where does it come obviously you have a team you could have someone focus on it but how how do you go about that process yeah i'm, I'm glad you asked that question because um my wife pretty much just has to roll rein me in every day because of i've got that many ideas going through my head i'm like oh, you know she's I kind of feel sorry for him one way because I'm always just spitting them out and just like, yeah, we've got to do this and we've got to do that and make sure this happens, make sure we do this. So we don't have a team that big that someone can sit down and design the stuff. It's, it's more just ideas that we have. We've got a big whiteboard in our office and we write the ideas on there and then we look into them and, and you know, if we think we should make them happen, we'll make them happen. So most of it really just comes from, you know, we get some ideas off um, our staff members when they're, when they're building them about different different features we should put on the boards or different things we should do so we're always open to things but the main ideas yeah i just really just you know sometimes it's not reinventing the whole wheel it's just you know making a different variation of something that already exists um so i just yeah you just look at something like i can make this better yeah or you know i feel like it's good but it's missing this um uh, let me do it my way and then it's like oh look and that's usually i feel like that's what everybody does you know like everybody copies everybody and they make their own way i feel like there's enough people for everybody you know you just got to have something that attracts the people to your brand your company yeah and, and it's the brand that's really yeah. the end of the day like yeah. you know people come to train with you because of the way you train yeah right there's however many gyms around there's yeah. thousands of gyms around yeah but people go to people because you know the way they train or what they do or the results they want or like whatever the whatever the thing is so look there's enough in the world for everyone like, honestly yeah. There's, yeah. there really exactly. is um, so pretty much don't be a hater, guys. There's enough for everybody. Do your thing. <laughs> don't worry about what the other person's doing. Make it happen. You can do it too. Yeah, and that's what if that's how I always say that. Stay in your own lane. Just yeah. stay in your lane. Do what you do. Yeah. And if you worry about what you're doing, then you'll always be fine. So oh, yeah. you just start worrying about what other people are doing. That's that's when you're gone. You're done after that. <laughs> you haven't got your eye on the picture. So yeah. um no look, answer to your question, I'm always I'm always thinking about ideas. I think like I said I don't know how many different. So your, so your mind's always running, constantly. You just, you're just like, boo, 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 what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? You make some cool. All right, that was cool. Now move on. Yeah. yeah. Like slow down, bro. Like you've done something good. Like you're fine. Just chill. That's it. The wife's like, stop, stop. And I'm like, we've got to do this. We've got to do that. Let's do this. It's got to be out by this. It's yeah. got to be out by that. So. Yeah, but I feel like it's like some people have to be like that to be in the position that you're in because if not, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have what you have. You have to be that person that's always feels like you're not working enough you're not doing enough yeah I'm always, we've always got to create if you stop you'll be overtaken okay. and then one last thing how did the how did the the name and the logo come about because <laughs> i think the logo is pretty cool in the whole the whole setup yeah this, the, again it's like they look at you like oh the slant board guy they don't even call you by your name you're the slant board guy oh funny story funny story oh, funny story i was in vegas just walking through vegas the other day you know so we're on the other side of the world and a guy just runs up he goes Hey, it's Slamball guy. I'm like, yeah, yeah. It's like you're a superhero. <laughs> Slamball guy. And he's like, he goes, is, is it you? And I'm like, yeah, it's me. And he goes, oh, I live in Seattle. I've got your board. It's so good. It's this. So it's, like, it's pretty crazy to think that you're on the other side of the world and, and someone sees your shirt and, and comes up like that. But That's when you know you made it, man. When you're walking around <laughs> the other side of the world, someone comes up to you like, I made it alive. I could die good. I'm yeah. okay. I could tell this story the rest of my life, but I won't. Someone came up to me and said, I'm the Slamboard guy. And I all the way in australia they were in you know vegas yeah. you know it's great but yeah look the logo the logo was um the wife's design really she came up with the logo is so, that your silhouette yeah it should have been a bit more muscly it was my silhouette <laughs> no, <I'm joking. laughs> um now she came up with the idea but with, with the name was it was a really funny thing it was um when we, we didn't have instagram um someone told me you know you've got to have instagram it's, it's, it's got to be what you've got to have so I was, i've never had it before so i just went on there and put my name in just Nathan Grant, and just like, yeah, that's it. And then he rings me up and he goes, oh, can I swear on the podcast? Like, oh, yeah, yeah, go yeah. ahead, man. It's, no, he's it's like, for everybody. He's like, <laughs> they don't like it. They don't watch yeah. something else. He's like, who the fuck's going to know Nathan Grant? Like, yeah. who's that? I'm like, I don't know. What do you want me to put? And he's like, well, come up with a name. And I'm just like, oh, okay. So we're driving in the car and the wife's spitting out all these names and we're trying to come up with names to do with our three kids. And then um, she just goes, what about just slam board guy? Okay. So simple but so good. Okay, are, you, are you an idiot? That's just, <laughs> everyone's going to laugh at us. And she's like, 
no, no, it sounds really good. So I thought about it for a day, and then I said, yeah, why not? Let's just change it to slant board guy. It's so. perfect. I think that was perfect. It's like it's, it is what it is, yeah. slant board guy. Like, it's simple, and it's like slant board guy. Yeah, so yeah. that was how it was created. And like I said, with everything, it's kind of just been yeah, a bit of luck, but hard work at the end of the day, and it's, um, it's grown to what it is today. So. Yeah, and then obviously, like I said, you didn't have a social media back then, right? So you opened the social media. How do you think social media has helped you grow? Yeah, look, like I said at the start, like, we wouldn't be where we were uh, or where we are without social media. But, and it's a big but, you, you've got to be tough to have social media because there's a, for every positive well, once comment. Well, once you become somebody and you start growing and all eyes are starting to go on you, yeah, it could uh, definitely affect you mentally if you start getting all those trolls and negative comments out there, man. Yeah, and, and then, look, there is, there's a lot of people that just um, hide behind their keyboard and... and leave a lot of negative comments, which is which is something you've got to learn to deal with. They're probably just sitting there jerking off, talking <laughs> shit all day. It's the truth. So those yeah. people, man, screw you guys, yeah. man. Like, what's wrong with you talking shit for no reason, man? Like, but it does. I don't, it can, I don't understand those people sometimes. It can have a serious effect on you. Um, but again, like Ben, he's over toes guy. I, I remember speaking to him about this a lot right at the start. And he just said, um, you know, because you start finding yourself defending yourself to these negative people, right? Um and I was, I was always responding to everything and, and, and trying to you know, speak to them. Um, the biggest thing he just told me, he just goes, mate, block and delete, uh, block and delete. Yeah. He goes, the more time you spend on the negative people, you're not spending time on the, fo- on the positive people. So, you know, I found once I did that and, you, and you, you, know, you, you do get so many positive people and if you focus on that and, and you build them relationships and it kind of wipes out that. So, look, social media is great, but um, I think sometimes people are way too reliant on it and that's... You know, part of the trip. That's why we're out here meeting people face to face and doing what we do. So, and I think that's a, you said it perfectly. If you just block out what you don't need and focus on the positive, you're just gonna start taking that in. Don't waste your energy on that negative because you consume yourself on that, or you're on that negative. It's gonna consume you, and then you're just gonna get down on yourself, and you're gonna start doubting yourself and doubting your product and doubting whatever you do. So, by you doing that, it's just stay on the positive lane and mind your business. Stay focused, focus, 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 and that's all you're gonna see is, is 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 the positivity because you're so just focused on that. Yeah, that's 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 all there is. So like I said, and it gets to a stage where it gets you know, hectic on social media, but that's today's society, right? Yeah. So we're, it's we've, we're, look, we wouldn't have we wouldn't have grown the way we've grown without social media. So like I said, I'm, I'm always grateful for it, but with all the positive stuff comes the negative stuff. So oh, yeah, yeah. I don't know why people just you know find time in their day to just write <laughs> shit about other people. But, I mean, it's, that's, it's that's crazy. the world it's we It's crazy when you just sit there and really think about, like, how does this person really write this? Like, yeah. what made them do this? Like, and you try to put yourself in their position, you're like, I can't. And I just, it's just the people are different. I just go on there and they got, like, 30 followers or something. I'm just like, what, yeah. what are you just looking well, for you, people to just talk shit about? Yeah. Like, just, just leave me alone. Yeah, when you see that, you're like, ah, whatever. So, yeah, yeah well, I guess we'll, uh, we'll leave it at that. Yeah, no worries. Just screw those negative people. Uh, you got some positive... Board is great. You guys go buy the slant board and stay tuned for the new, uh, what do you call this one? The travel one? It's going to be the duo. The, just let the, cat the duo? The, yeah, the duo. The duo slant board? Yep. Stay tuned for the duo slant board, guys. Uh, take it, take it, take it wherever you want now. You can put it in your backpack or whatever, your, your gym bag. Uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, you're definitely going to be seeing it uh, all over gyms all over the U.S., and Australia and everywhere else that you that you might go. Definitely. Any last things you want to tell the people before you leave? Where can they find you on social media? Um, just at Slamboard Guy. Simple, simple, Slamboard Guy. Slamboard Guy. And then uh, same thing on you know where they can purchase your your Slamboard Slamboard Guy dot com. Yep, Slamboard Guy dot com to purchase all our stuff. Um, keep an eye out for what we're going to drop for Fourth of July. That'd be pretty cool for the next. Um, okay. It's going to drop in two weeks. So. Big focus on that, and yeah, some new products coming out soon. And my guy, appreciate you coming by. Cheers. Cheers. Even though the beer is pretty much me. gone, <laughs> uh, you guys stay tuned for this episode. That's uh, another episode of Lotion Going His Podcast. See you guys on the next one.